Have you seen cap cut icons on TikTok and wondered what it was or how to get it? I'm Jessica from techboomers.com and in this video, I'll show you how to edit videos with the CapCut app. Now let's get started. You can download the CapCut video editing app for free from the App Store. To begin creating a video, open CapCut and tap New Project. Now you can upload media from your camera roll to use for your project. You can upload videos, photos, or live photos. You can also pick stock videos from CapCut's library to play around with if you like. Select the media you want to use. Then tap Add in the bottom right corner. Now you can begin editing your video. You can play a preview of your video by tapping the play button in the middle. To view your preview in full screen, tap the maximize icon. To exit full screen preview, tap the minimize icon. To trim the beginning or end of a clip, tap the clip, then drag the marker at the beginning or end to trim out as much as you'd like. Each of the icons at the bottom represents a menu of video editing features. The first category is Edit. In this menu, you'll find a bunch of useful tools for editing your video project. The Split tool will let you make a cut in your video at the point where the playback marker currently sits. Scroll to the part of your video where you want to make a cut, then tap Split. This will split your clip into two pieces. If you want to cut out part of your video, you can split on either end of the part you'd like to remove, then select that clip and delete it. The next tool is Speed. As you might expect, this tool will allow you to speed up or slow down a video clip. Tap a clip you want to adjust the speed of, then tap Speed. You can choose Normal to have the speed of your whole clip change, or Curve so the speed gradually changes rather than all at once. 1x is regular speed, but if you drag the marker to the left, you can slow down your video, or drag it to the right to speed it up. Tap play on your video preview to see how it looks at the speed you've selected. Tap the check mark at the bottom to save your changes. The next tool is animation. This feature allows you to animate the intro and outro of your clip with animated transitions. You can choose to add a transition into the video, out of it, or a combination of both. Then tap an animation effect to see how it would look on your video. To save it, tap the check mark at the bottom. Repeat to add these to each clip you'd like to add animations to. The Style tool has cool effects you can add to your clips. Some can only be applied to photos, and some are only for videos. Tap one of these to apply it to your clip. The Delete function will remove the selected clip. The Volume tool allows you to turn the volume of a clip up or down. Make sure to tap the check mark to save your changes. If you want to separate the audio from your video so you can edit the audio separately, tap Extract Audio. The Cutout tool can be used to remove the background of a video. This will work best if your video has a solid colored background. With the Edit tool, you can mirror, rotate, or crop your clip. CapCut also has lots of color filters you can use to stylize your video. Tap a filter to see how it looks on your clip. You can adjust the intensity of the filter by using the slider bar at the bottom. If you want a filter to be constant across your entire video, tap Apply to All Clips. With the Adjust tool, you can adjust your clip's brightness, contrast, saturation, and more. You can also tap Apply to All to ensure the adjustments are consistent across all your clips if you like. With the Enhance tool, CapCut can touch up your face or body. The Face tools can be used to smooth your skin, whiten your teeth, or even add makeup. The Body tools can add a slimming effect, make your legs appear longer, and more. These effects can also be automatically applied across all clips for consistency. The Mask tool can be used to cover everything but a specific selection of your video. For example, you could mask half of your video, everything but a small circle of it, one horizontal strip, etc. Tapping Overlay will turn the selected clip into an overlay rather than being in the main video timeline. Tap Replace to select a different video from your device to use in place of the selected clip. 
The Stabilize tool can be used to reduce any shakiness in a clip. With the Opacity tool, you can make a clip more transparent. CapCut also has voice effects that are similar to those on TikTok. Apply one of these to distort or enhance voices in your video. Reduce noise can be enabled to reduce background noise, such as wind. Tapping Copy will duplicate your clip. Tapping Reverse will make the selected clip play backwards. Tapping Freeze will create a 3 second freeze frame at the point where the playback marker sits. You can then drag the end of the freeze frame clip to make it shorter or longer. Motion Blur and Graphs are a little bit more advanced, so we'll skip those tools for now. The next menu of tools is Audio. Here you can add sounds, including tracks from CapCut's audio library, or you can link your TikTok account to use sounds from the TikTok app. You can also add sound effects to enhance your video. If you'd like to use audio from another video on your device for this project, tap Extracted. Then select the video you'd like to pull audio from. CapCut will import only the audio portion of that video to use in your project. The last tool is VoiceOver, which allows you to record a voiceover to play over your video. Move the playback marker to the point in your video where you want your voiceover to start. Then hold down the record button to record your voiceover and release it when you're done. You can move, trim, and edit voiceover clips the same way you would with video clips. The next set of tools is text. With these, you can add text overlays to your video. Tap Add Text to make a new text box. You can type in whatever you'd like it to say and customize the font, style of text including color and size, text effects, animation, and background bubble if you like. You can also drag the text clip to move it to the part of your video where you want that text to appear. You can drag the ends of the clip to adjust the length of your text. If you want to reposition the text, drag it on the screen to place it where you want, or use two fingers to pinch, zoom, or rotate it. The next tool allows you to add stickers. You can also add automatic captions to show what's being said in your video, or automatic lyrics if your video is of a song. The last tool in this category is Draw. This will allow you to doodle on your video and create your own hand-drawn stickers. The main editing menu also has tools to add stickers and overlays, as well as filters and the adjustment tool. The effects menu has options to add fun video effects as well as body effects. The format option allows you to choose the sizing ratio for your video. The Canvas category allows you to choose a background color or image, or blur your background if you want. When you're all finished editing your project on CapCut, select the resolution and frame rate you want to export your video as. The higher the resolution and frame rate, the more clear your video will be, and the larger the file size will be. To save your video, tap the Export icon. When the export is complete, your video will be saved to your device's camera roll. You can then upload your edited video to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or whatever other platform you like. That does it for our guide to editing videos using CapCut. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.